How do you feel when you find something in a place where it shouldn't be? I'll show you the forbidden strategy I found in this championship Sudoku. And you need it to solve this cell and the rest of the puzzle. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. What can be in this cell right here in the middle? You notice it can't be a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. This cell has to be a naked single 1. Greetings, friend. This is round 7, puzzle 1 of the 2024 Sudoku Grand Prix. Hosted by India. India has some of the finest Sudoku puzzle creators in the world. However, they put a strategy in here affecting this red cell that does not really belong in championship puzzles. And before I can show you that strategy, you have to solve a few cells first. Let's stay here in block five. You notice we have a one, two, four, six, and eight. You need a three, five, seven, and nine. Well, with these two sevens, you can solve for a 7 right here. And then with this 3, covering these cells, you can solve for a 3 right there. And then with this 9, you can solve for a 9 here and a 5 right there. Now look across row 5. You only have 2 cells missing. You have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 9. We just need a 6 and an 8. But you see that the 6 is here in block 4. So that's got to be your 8, and that's got to be your 6. You can do the same thing here in column five you notice you have a one three five six seven eight we just need a two and a four well the two is right there so that's got to be the four and that's got to be the two and now let's stay here in block eight you might notice that with the two four seven eight nine we need a one three five and six the three and the six right here and this one this cell has to be a five and then with the 3, 6 there, this has to be your 1. This is going to leave us with a 3, 6 naked pair. Come on up in the block 2. And now we just need an 8 and a 9 here in column 6. I got my 8 right there. That's your 8 and that's your 9. I don't see a 5 in block 2. So with this 5, that's got to be your 5. And this is going to be your 1. So you're getting a lot of great solves here. This is pretty typical for a... Puzzle one for the Sudoku Grand Prix. And we go over here in the block four now. You got a two, four, six, eight, nine. You need a one, three, five, seven. Well, you might notice you have the one, five, seven right here. So that's going to be a three naked single. You also see with these two fives, that's got to be a five. With this one, there's a one and there's your seven. Where we have the most restriction, right over here in block six, right? All we need is a 3 and an 8 across row 4. Well, there's your 8. That's an 8, and that's a 3. And that's going to leave us a 1, 4, naked pair in block 6. So much that you've solved already. But it's going to get a little bit harder here in just a bit. Let's do some other solves. With these 5s and this 5, you can solve for 5 in block 3. Take these 5s down and with these 5s. And you can solve the last 5 in block 3. 9. How about uh, an 8? Stay here in block 9. Where can an 8 go? You might notice you have an 8 in column 7 and an 8 in column 9. You have an 8 already right here. One place for an 8 in block 9 is right there. And now look up column 8. There's only two cells remaining. It's got to be a 2, 4 naked pair. And that puts some restriction up here in block 3 now. Where can a 9 go in block 3? Well, with these two 9s and this 9 cutting across, you can only fall for a 9 right there. And now I'm going to show you a little bonus tip. Where can the 1 go? Because of this 1, the 1s are restricted to these two cells here in block 3. And so I'm going to highlight them in blue. And since they're restricted in block 3 to column 7, a 1 cannot be anywhere else along column 7 outside the block. Because if you put a 1 right here, you'd have no place to put a 1 in block 3. This is called a Sudoku pointing pair. And you can use that to make a solve here. Because now this cannot be a 1. That's got to be your 4, and that's going to be your 1. Nice. And now, after solving that, you can do a little bit more solving. 
let's look at the twos. You have this two, you got these twos, you got this two. The only place a two can go in block nine is right there. You know, with these twos and this two, you can solve for two in block seven. Take these twos and this two, just a little cross hatching to solve the two in block one. And now you can disambiguate the four and the two and solve all the twos in this puzzle over here in block three. Now let's follow the fours. With these two fours and this four, you can solve for four in block one. And you know, like Timberlake, this is easy. What are you talking about? Forbidden strategy. We're getting there. You notice not solved that red cell yet. These fours and this four, it's all for a four right here. These two fours, you can solve the last four in block nine. And now you look across row seven here. There's only two possibilities remaining. You always want to look for the greatest restriction. You just need a three or a six. Well, you got a six right here. That's a three to disambiguate the six and three in block eight. And there's a little bit more solving to do with the threes. With these two threes and this three, it's all for a three right here. And then with these two threes and these two threes, you can solve for three in block one. And you get a three dun, 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 in the corner. But then it ends. In this puzzle one, to go any further, you're going to need an advanced strategy. And before I show you what I think is the best strategy to use here, I want to hear from you. What did you do at this point in the puzzle? Drop in the comments. Share with the other viewers. Please help me grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube by sharing your experiences and feedback. I love to hear from you and I respond to every comment. In order to move forward, you got to do some filling out here. Let's start with the row where our red cell is. You have a one, two, three, four, five, and now we need a six, seven, eight. So we have a seven in column three. So that's just going to be six and eight. And you have an eight in the block. So that's just a six, seven. To finish block nine, you have six, seven right here, and also six, seven to finish column nine, and then go across here, row three, six, seven. So just put in some by value cells, some BVCs to help us out. Now, there's a couple different advanced strategies you might have seen. Maybe you already put them in the comments. You could look here in column three and in column seven and notice where can a six go? Six can only go in these four spots, right? It can't go here because of this six and every other cell is filled out. And so a six could go here and here or here and here. So you could have a Sudoku X-Wing that you found and that would cause an elimination in the red cell, but it's not enough. You need to do more elimination than that. You need another advanced strategy. But if you found that X-Wing, that's pretty, pretty good. Nice job. You could look in this column in this column and go work in the sevens go. And you'll notice that because of this seven, a seven is restricted to these two cells in column two and these two cells in column seven. And if you're looking upside down, this is a Sudoku skyscraper. Two conjugate pairs of cells, right? Either seven's there or it's there, there or there. It shares a row. And then in this nice three by three band, the candidates are in different rows. This is a Sudoku skyscraper. I may have used this when I actually solved this during the Sudoku Grand Prix. Skyscraper is nice, but doesn't solve the red cell. If you saw that, nice job. And I have yet to see a skyscraper ever needed in a Sudoku Grand Prix classic Sudoku. I've seen a couple of X-Wings, and usually when they're in there, people aren't that happy about it. So that's why I'm saying this next strategy is forbidden because it's never been in Sudoku Grand Prix Classic Sudoku. And the issue is not that it's not logical, it's just that you're under a time crunch when you're solving these puzzles. And so they, the competitors expect to use no more than the seven top strategies that you can find in my Sudoku solving guide. You can download that for free from the comments. And that solving guide contains those top seven strategies. It helps you solve 80% or more of all Sudoku puzzles. Usually you don't need anything beyond that for the New York Times hard. And so when you see something beyond that, it's just, it's almost forgotten. It's almost taboo. Uh, it's just not expected. And this is what I was asking about at the beginning of this puzzle. So let's look at what I'm, the actual strategy is. You'll notice right here, you have a six and a seven. And you have a six and seven also in the same block. And you go up here, there's another six, seven in column nine. And then another six, seven over here in row three. 
And they're all linked together. Like this cell sees this cell, which sees this one, which sees that one. There's an even amount. There's four of the cells of the same by by a cell, a six and a seven. And I alternated the colors because I want to show you, you know, if this was a six, that'd be a seven, that'd be a six, and this cell would be a seven. You notice the two blue cells are sixes, and the two orange cells are sevens. The only other possibility right here is for this to be a seven. If that's the case, and this is a six, that'd be a seven, and this would be a six. You'll notice again, the blue cells are always the same value. The orange cells are the same value as each other. Those are the only two possibilities. In both cases, you end up with a six and a seven in one of the orange and one of the blue cells here, and they both see this cell. This is a Sudoku remote pair, and this is super powerful strategy because it doesn't just eliminate one candidate, it eliminates two. You can eliminate both the six and the seven from this cell right here because if you put a six or seven in this cell, you would run out of places to put six and sevens in that nice remote pair chain. This is awesome stuff. And if you want to learn more about remote pairs, you can check out this tutorial. But what does this do for us? Well, let's actually remove all the other markings. Let's remove the colors and I'll show you what that does. Since this cannot be a six or a seven anymore, it can only be an eight. And now you can see that this cell has to be a six. That's got to be a seven. You're going to disambiguate all of these pairs that we marked in the puzzle. And then we can move on with a little bit more solving, which is what the experts call sweeping the block, because you're very close to the end now. All we need here is a one or a six. And with this six in row one, that's a six, that's a one. And then if you look across row one, we solve for seven here, and I can use my neat naked triple trick, solve these three cells. You got a two, three, four, five, six, seven, you get a one, eight, and a nine. I got a 1, 8 and column 1, 8 repeated. When you ever see that situation, you can solve all three. That has to be a 9. The only place the 8 goes right there, and this is going to be your 1. Carry this 9 on down because I don't see a 9 in block 7. Solve this cell for a 7, and our last digit is a, well, you can solve that for a 9 because our last digit is a 7. Now check out this other puzzle that almost caused a riot at the World Sudoku Championships. Thank you so much for watching.